protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my commands. Touch them up. Back to your corner, gentlemen. Alvarado coming off a win in October against Robbie Cannon, where he scored two knockdowns against Cannon in the second round before that fight was stopped. Barbosa highly regarded. He's the number four prospect, according to the WBO, at 140 pounds. Has been in some wars, as Chris mentioned, notably against Brandon Rios. Very familiar with one another as Barbosa served as a sparring port partner for Alvarado in the lead up to Alvarado Marquez. A five year pro out of South El Monte, California, the former football player, football star at South El Monte. Dropped quite a bit of weight from his playing days in the backfield for South El Monte High School as a fullback. Mentioning the wars of Alvarado. <laughs> Anytime you fight that man, you're in a war. Brutus Prescott as well. We're seeing Barbosa using his length, using his jab, tying Alvarado up when he, when he gets close, moving him, but uh, also letting his hands go and landing some good prospect, hoping to be contender. And uh, you know, we see who goes on from here and who, who takes a slide down. Barbosa trained by his father, Arnold Barbosa Sr. Our WBC title holder, Jose Ramirez. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely a, a, a huge step up for, for, for Barbosa. Big right uppercut to start the second round for Barbosa, who is defending that junior super lightweight NABF championship. Alvarado has won his last six fights after losing five in a row that many thought might end his career. 2015 and early 2016 before returning in March of 2016 where he's now rattled off six wins in a row. Alvarado's looking very sharp. Um, really landing uppercuts at will on Alvarado who's just coming forward, waiting in, getting hit. But we've seen this from Alvarado before. You mentioned Brady's Prescott who was winning all of the eight or nine rounds that the fight was going. Before several knockdowns and a knockout. One thing that seems Barbosa taking advantage of so far in the early rounds is his... Yeah, Mike Alvarado never being, never known as being much of a, a boxer or a jabber. You know, kind of a weight in guy. Take some shots, you hit me once, I'll hit you. Taking some damage here early as Barbosa goes back to the right hand uppercut. Body shot with the left hand from Barbosa. And you know, it looks like Barbosa has a speed advantage as well, so. Um, George Foreman always said that timing beats speed. So uh, Alvarado, you know, being the older guy, the veteran, um, you know, he's got that power, but you know, timing can beat that speed of the younger man, Bar uh, Arnold Barbosa. Barbosa working the uppercuts in Barbosa's 20 fights in his professional career, just seven knockouts. Good body shot there by Barbosa. Stands in and takes the punishment. Barbosa showing really good balance tonight, you know, cutting angles, landing good power punches, sitting down on his punches. Like you said, not known as a puncher, having only, you know, seven knockouts in his in his uh, 20 wins, but um, tonight showing showing some good pop. Those uppercuts especially. And the body work. Yeah. Primarily that left hook to the body. He's been throwing quite hard. A three punch combination as Barbosa steps aside, tries to get position in the center of the ring. Verado came back with two left hooks. Alvarado, the former champion, in 2013. Trying to find a path back to a title defense. And comes to prospects, Arnold Barbosa Jr. It is a great test. Barbosa Jr. looking to make a name for himself here on the undercard of the Lomachenko fight in front of his hometown fans and against a well-known fighter as Alvarado on the receiving end. Oh, and some combinations by Barbosa, and Alvarado lands on his back, and he can't get up. Alvarado grasping for the ropes, oh, and Alvarado God. is done. Arnold Barbosa Jr. defends his title in front of his hometown crowd. Uh, I believe it was the right uppercut, left hook combination, um, and you saw the grimace from Alvarado after that, that combination landed. You, know, you can tell he got hurt, straight right hand ended it, didn't see it. And it's always the punch that you don't see that hurts the most. Of 49 seconds of round number three, your winner by way of KO still, NABF Junior Super Lightweight Champion from South El Monte, California, Arnold Barbosa Junior.